Hey everybody, I'm the Utopian Duelist, and today I have uh, Michael's PK Fire build. Um, we'll let him get started on the deck list for it. Okay, uh, when we go in, I'll go ahead and state that uh, I don't have the extra deck built for it just yet. Um, it's kind of like I'm waiting for Snow Blossom to come out. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and throw um, for the Burned for the BA monsters. Throw in three Scarm. Such a good card because you send this away during the end phase. You can just add another BA monster to your hand. Um, I run two Sir. Uh, another great way to get stuff out. Like I said, basically you just want to search and search. And then I won one Rubik. Um, well, the reason I run Rubik is because it's a tuner. Uh, this is the out when someone drops flying C on you in the mirror match. You can just secret summon it for Virgil or Rockstar. I run one Cow Cab. I thought I was running two. Because Cow Cab's ability is you send it to the grave and you can target one set you can target one set card on the field and return it back to the hand. Then one one graph. Um, one graph. This is a good card. Like I said, there's a reason why you know it's at one. Uh, I run one Farfa. Uh, I thought about switching out and playing two Farfas because of going into double Beatrice. Um, this is a good card to keep people from trying to beat over your monsters. And it keeps them from going to like big plays. Uh, I run one Alec. Alec's such a good card too as well because when they when they send it to the grave, you can basically negate any one of their effects, like the monster effects wise. And it gives them going, like I said, to more bigger plays. Especially if you drop it like on something that like pals needed. Like so now, let's give an example like Tear Guide. Drop it on Tear Guide and, and you know they can't do anything else. Um I run one bar bar. Like I said, I thought about switching this card out for Farfa. Barbar's effect is when it goes to grave, I can banish three Burning Abyss monsters, and you take 300 damage for each one. It's a great way, especially if they have like 100 left, you don't like battling them, you just like Barbar's effect. And you just burn them for free life points. Um, also, part of the engine, I run three Phoenix Rhinos. And it's such a good card because when it's on the field, like, as you know, if you run something that's not Burning Abyss, it'll destroy your Burning Abyss monsters. This keeps it from being destroyed because it's effect. And you can send another one to the grave. Like, let's say you like XZ with this, and they, they strike it, and they already have monsters on the field, you can send far from the grave and banish their monster too in the process, and like, you, as long as you have more backup plays, you're, you're good. And everyone's the lovely favorite card. I run one tour guide of the Underworld. So it's a great engine, it's just a you know, normal summon, and special summon one little three from the deck. Um, I miss the old days when you can just, you know, search tour guide with tour guide. But, you know, those days are long gone. Um, a big part of the engine now that everyone's running is you run three Terra Tops and then one Token Board. I mean, I've seen people learn two, but just it's clog at that point. That's a good way to search out. It's like, this is the extra tier I'm in the life. For it, th this card's life for your plays. It's a good way to draw out Solemn Strike. You want to play this first. Wait for, like, Dante, you go Dante, and it was like, Strike? Okay, and just pull the rest of your BA monsters out and the wasted. It's basically to burn their cards out. Uh, for the Phantom Knights, I run three Silent Boots. This is the best card because when you normal summon another Phantom Knight monster, you can special summon it from the hand. And when you banish it, you can add the Spell or Trap card to, back to your hand. Basically, more searching. Basically, it's like Burn just does, you mill and search. Um, I only run two of the right gloves because it's, it's a possible card to brick on. But, but like I said, the great way to play this card is for Breaksword. Is when it's overload material, he gains a thousand. Sally doesn't stack, but you know, three K B stick that can destroy one card with fail. I mean, that's pretty good. Um, I know everyone doesn't really like this card too much, but I run two Ancient Cloaks. Ancient Cloak is a good way to just like you don't have anything, you can just play a defense and try to see if you can stall your opponent. And from now on to the spells, I run two Twin Twisters. Um, I thought about running three, but I'm really sure because like pals are kind of dying, and there's not a lot of back row for some people. Is kind of like wasting your hand. And of course, for every burning abyss deck, you need run one flush burial just to start it off. It's a good way to get more searches out. I run one dark hole. I run it instead of regeki because you know maybe I want my monsters to go to the grave, but I can act with more effects instead of some in the back. So it's, I don't really go negative with it. Um, this is also a questionable card for some people because it, it's like, oh, it's a 50-50, it's a lure of darkness. 
It allows you to draw two and then banish one, dark monster, or the only, because the only problem with it is, is you don't pull a dark monster, or you don't already have one in your hand, you have to discard your land. But it's a good way to get yourself out of a bind, just in case you break and you just draw more cards and draw the way you need. Now for the traps, I run one Phantom Knight's Queen. It's a good way, like I said, for the Ancient Cloak, and you like, let's say you break and you play that, and they go to attack and you just play this instead, and you get super destroyed. Now, this card, Hate Fog it. Blade. Fog Blade is such a great card. It's basically Fiendish Chain on crack. The only nano side to it is, is once you target a monster, they can't be targeted for attack, so you have to just get around the monster a different way with effects. But this part is too, you can banish it and search out. You can special summon a monster. You can do it during the battle phase, which makes it so good. I hate that card. Now, uh, another great trap everyone loves, I run two Solemn Strikes. Um, I thought running three, but like I said, it's kind of an expensive card. And on top of that, it's, like I said, I, I can just play it, like I said, the only warning, and I'm good. Um, now, on to the extra deck. I run Triple Dante, because Dante's life. Yeah. I run Double Beatrice. This card right here, even for Burning Abyss, this is the pure burning. You drop Double Beatrice, people are either going to quit, or they're like trying to do everything they can to burn themselves out of cars to get around it. Because it's like, okay, you exe for monster, move detach Beatrice, and send Farfoot to the grave. Oh, well, I banished your monster, all its exes. Womp womp. Uh, and also, too, when you destroy it, you can search out this bad boy, Pilgrim, along with Virgil. I run Virgil, too, like I said, out flying sea. I run one downer magician. I'm, I'm really sure, I thought about cutting this card for Nightmare Shark, so I can tag direct for game if I need to. Uh, it's basically in flex piercing, like I said, they got 100 points left, and they're basically walling it up, and just attack piercing, game over. Um, Mega Run, one super quantum mech beast grandpa's. Is this a follow of the back row heavy shit? It's basically, you just detach, and it's MST, is a monster. And I run three Phantom Knight of the Breaksword. Such a good card. It's not, basically, a good way to do this is... Okay, let's say you play this on the field and they like solemn strike it. You can bring those band lights come back and then play another, then play a rank four monster in return. Like, that's that's so good. And plus two, you can destroy cards on the field. I run two F zeros. Um, this is my for my Cosmo matchup. Basically, this is how you, you make Cosmo just quit. They can't, they either spend too much resources trying to get around it or they. They just kill themselves because you bait out Dark Destroyer and then play that and you just beat them down with their own Dark Destroyer. And for the rank four that I was talking about with the Phantom Knights, uh, I run Dark Rebellion Dragon because it's an attack power. It's a very situational card, but it's a great way, especially if they have like Monarchs, and just beat over it and GG for the win. But yeah, that's um, basically the whole build for the deck. So, everybody, that was Michael's uh, PK Fire deck. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, like, subscribe, you know the rest. See you guys.